hi this is dr felix i want to talk about something that is so crucial something sweet something very very nice and uh, you really 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 enjoy simultaneously you'll come out with something after this class yeah this is uterine fibroids we want to draw, we want to talk about uh, definition classification differential diagnosis investigation complications yeah how to manage it yeah you are going to enjoy now from the definition uterine fibroids these are mm, benign tumors that grow within the smooth uterine linings interlaced within the connective tissues causing a distortion and disturbance of the menstrual and the reproductive systems now what do you want to know about next the etiology the etiology is, is always unknown. Nobody knows what brings it. But we only bring perspective reasons that comes out with uterine fibroids clearly. Basically, uh, the androgens are being converted into the adipose tissues to oestrogen. Now, high increase of oestrogen levels brings uterine fibroids because of the, uh, the, 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 the nice uh, environment that they have, they have created into the uterine linings, it brings it up. What you have to know about uterine fibroid, the risk factors. We have the family history. We have race. The black women tend to have it more than the, 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 the white women. After the race, what, what again? We have uh, the, 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 the childbirth, we have pregnancy and childbirth. It also has it. We have obesity. It also brings it most of the times. Now, what do you not want to know about uterine fibroid next? You have to know about the, uh, the classification. We have the submuc submucosas, which uh, the, 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 the fibroid grows within the muscles of the beneath the, 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 the endometrium region. Yeah, submucosa, you talk of the beneath. Then intramural, it is now within the uterine muscles. Then we have the subserosas. It is outside the uterine endometrial linings. Now, what do you have to know next? That is uh, degeneration. The generation, there are always six of them. We have hyaline, we always have uh, cystic, calcification, we have uh, torsion, we have red degeneration, then finally we have subcomatous. So in our next class, I'll help you how to now differentiate and how to explain them one by one. Another thing that you have to know about is uh, clinical features. Somebody that has uh, a uterine fibroids, how do they present? They present with menorrhagia. Menorrhagia comes in when they, uh, they increased uh, vascularity into the endometrias brings now the bleeding thing. Another thing, uh, there is pain. There is that too much pain because of the compression of the, the uterine lining and the endo endometrium uh, pigments. Another thing that you have to know is that the, there is always an anemia thing. Somebody will have to come there when they are pale. You, if you check the parlor, the conjunctival parlor, this ones, you check down there, then you'll always get a severe, a severe parlor. It will tell you that this person has suffered from something that you'll have to investigate. What do you have to know again is uh, investigations. What inve investigations do you do? You do, you can do uh, ultrasound, you can do uh, magnetic resonance imaging, you can do uh, all those. Yeah, so uh, what next do you have to know about uterine fibroids? You'll have to know about the management. You'll have to know about the complications. You'll have to know about the differential diagnosis. Differential diagnosis, number one, we have adenomyosis. You may have endometriosis. You may have leiomyosarcomas. You may have myometrial in uh, uh, cancer. You may have uh, ovarian cyst, yeah? You may have uterine cancer, all of them. Then uh, about the management, 
basically you'll do asymptomatically you will have to correct the anemia giving iv fluids i uh, doing an investigation like full hemogram yeah those ones you have to know then after that the definitive management basically is hysterectomy uh, that is a total evacuation of the uterus another thing you can also do myomectomy where you basically do now